Hey, hi everyone, my name is Ravindra and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will understand what is solution layer in Microsoft Power Platform in the solution, okay? So as you mentioned, I written this blog, okay? This blog's link is available in the description. From there, you can check, okay? So if you see, in the solution, there are two types of layers, okay? First one is unmanaged layer and second one is managed layer, okay? So if you see, unmanaged layer is active customization layer, okay? That is always remain on the stop and end user will see this unmanaged layer. And managed layer are those layer, okay? Are present below the unmanaged layer solution. If any unmanaged layer is present, okay? So in that case, it will be top, okay? If not, then our managed solution layer will top and the user will see this, okay? So let's I showcase you how it's work, okay? And uh, practically, let's go and see. So you can see, I am in my default environment, okay? And this is my unmanaged solution that is I am using now, okay? And in this solution, I have one table, demo table 260824, okay? And if I go and click on the advanced, here is one option is present, show solution layers. So if you see, I have currently only one active solution layer, okay, that is unmanaged layer, okay. This is why, because I am in unmanaged solution, okay. So in unmanaged solution, there is always one layer, okay, that is you can see now. Let's I go to and my second solution, okay. This is my developer environment and this is my managed solution, okay. So in the managed solution, I open the same table, new solution 2602, all demo table 260824, okay. That is same table and in solution layer, you can be see, this is my un managed layer, okay, because I exported my solution from one environment to another as a managed, okay. And here if you see here is one more layer is present unmanaged layer okay so this unmanaged layer is creates when okay whenever you edit object in your managed solution okay if you see this is my managed solution and here one message you can be see you cannot directly edit the objects within a managed solution if managed properties for the solution object are set to allow customization you cannot edit from the unmanaged solution okay so let's understand this first line okay you cannot edit the objects within a managed solution okay so means i cannot be edit these um, things directly but indirectly i can do so let's see how indirectly i can edit this okay? so let's i go to the this is my environment okay this is our solution manage one you can be see this presently manage one so let's i go into unmanaged solution going to the default one okay let's uh, search the table 2608 this is our table you can be see i selected that table <coughs> and let's add let's rename this column okay so let's go click on the properties and demo table okay so let's change the display name to only demo table okay and let's click on the save Let's I refresh this. So you can be see my table name is changed to demo table now. Okay. Let's I go to my solution now. Okay. Let's I go one step back. Let's go to manage solution. Okay. Here let's I'm going to the new solution. And let's I refresh it here. So my solution I refresh. Okay. And you can be see the table name was changed. Okay. Demo table. And this is my same environment. Okay. And solution is also manage one. 41 seconds ago, I done the customization. Okay. And if you see in the advanced solution layer, okay. So this active solution layer is present and I am able to see the new solution layer. So let's add go and uh, remove this solution layer. Okay. We have one option to remove this. So I selected this layer and here you can be see one action we are getting remove active customization. So I just go and delete this.
I deleted the active customization layer. Okay. Only one layer is present, and you can be see my table name was changed to demo table two six zero eight two four. That is, we are exported. Okay. So I hope you understand now. Okay. So why I able to edit this in the data verse? If you understand, our all data is present into a default solution. So in the default solution. all the tables and other things okay are present so that's why i able to edit okay so how to prevent this okay if i go to my manage solution okay and just opening this the manage solution so first line we understand you cannot directly edit object within a solution let's understand the second line if manage properties of solution object are set to allow customization you can edit them okay so let's go to our unmanage solution okay so this is unmanage solution present in my default environment okay let's i go select this okay let's go and select the table here so here in advanced section you can be see here is one manage property section are present so let's i click on that and here is that one thing that we read now na allow customize present here. so just turn off this Let's click on the done. Let's I import this solution to my new environment. Okay. So let's I deploying my new solution. Okay. Just click on the next. Let's deploy. So now you can see I am deploying my solution by using my pipeline. So you can be see my solution is deployed successfully. Okay. So let's I go to the my new environment. Let's take one step back. Refresh this. let's see the what is my version okay it is 11003 okay so let's i go to the manage solutions okay and seeing my version is updated okay so it is updated you can be see successfully 